guys, I'm back again to do um, a short workout that really works on strengthening through the shoulders and through the sides of the body. Um, for the workout, we just need a band and a willing self. So we're going to start with a little bit of a, a warm up, a kneeling warm up on the band. So what I'd like you to do to begin with is just walk your knees onto the centre of the band and you're just going to hold your band um, so that the tail end of the band comes out of the thumb side of the hand. And then just focus on your posture and alignment. So you want to make sure that your hips are pressing forward. So the three bones at the front of the pelvis, your pubic bone and your two pelvic bones are on the same plane as one another. You feel your front rib to back rib connection and then the length of your spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone. So all I'd like you to do here is gently lift your shoulder up to your ear and then lengthen your shoulder down away from the ear. Checking that as you go upwards and downwards with the shoulder, you're not allowing that shoulder to go forwards. So try and keep the chest in a nice open position. And then have an awareness of your shoulder blade and how the shoulder blade is moving on the rib cage. So you want to feel that as you lift your shoulder up to your ear, your shoulder blade slides up the back of the rib cage. We call that elevation of the shoulder blade. And then as you reach the shoulder away from the ear, the shoulder blade slides down the back of the rib cage. We call that depression of the shoulder blade. And it's the depression phase I want you to focus on because that's the phase that activates the deep postural muscles of your back. So really recognise what it feels like to draw the shoulder blade downwards and just allow the elastic recoil of the band to assist with that. So after a few reps, just really warming up through those muscles that support the shoulder blades, you're going to allow that shoulder blade to stay down the back of the rib cage. And I'm just going to slacken a bit of tension off my band here. And then starting off with a bicep curl, so just bending the elbow to bring your hands to the front of the shoulder and then extending the elbow. Now, because we've got resistance on one side, that creates a rotational force through the rib cage. So your focus is to make sure there's no shift through the ribs here, we don't want any of that. You're trying to keep the two sides of the waist equally long. So you have to really focus on stabilising through your glutes, your hamstrings and through those spinal stabilisers. Getting some nice arm work. So once we've got the control of that, you're going to bend the elbow into your bicep curl and then I'd like you to press that band up in a straight line, reverse that back to your bicep curl and then straighten through the elbow. So as I press up, I'm focusing on drawing the shoulder blade down the back of a rib cage, still making sure that there's no movement here through the spine. So feel that the head and the tailbone are reaching up positionally. So we're going to add some spinal movements to this. So you're going to bicep curl and press, take a side bend. So think of lifting your top ribs up into the band and then lift the spine up. And this time you're going to circle the band out to the side and down, bicep curl up, press, and then focus on breathing into the top ribs to get that nice opening through the rib cage. Shoulder blade is staying down the back of the ribs here. So by adding a side bend, we're well, starting to bring some mobility into the spine here and using the strength of those obliques, those side abdominals to do that. So get some nice abdominal work from this. And then we're going to change the, the movement now. So we're going to now take a side bend to the opposite side and extend that top leg out. So from here, stabilising through that bottom shoulder, feeling that shoulder blade draw down the back of a rib cage, and then really focus on lifting up through the inner thigh of that straight leg, pushing those hips forwards. Stepping that bottom leg behind the top leg. So you're in full side plank, and your top hand is going to reach down for band. Now, if you need the option, you can always bring that bottom knee back down, but we're going to really challenge that side closest to the floor. So following the arm, you're going to reach it up overhead and then behind you and then overhead again and in front of you. So allowing the torso to follow the movement of the arm. So we're getting some rotation through the spine here. All the time I'm having to focus on that stability through that bottom shoulder blade, keeping the hips lifted. 
adding a pike. So keep that top arm straight, pike the hips up and stretch the band to that back ankle. Swoop the arm out in front of you and then circle the arm back, shine in the chest, bone up at the ceiling. So feel the strong abs lift up through the hips. Just, just start to feel a nice amount of work through that side that's closest to the floor here. I'm going to do one more here. Really opening up, finding that pike. Finishing off with the arm reaching overhead, bend that bottom knee in, and then as you bend that top knee in, lift that band up and just stretch that band behind you and open that chest. And then bringing that band down, give those shoulders a roll, and we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So always checking your space, knowing that this is gonna be the top leg, and that's the leg that's gonna need space to go out to your side. So kneeling on the center of the band, and I'm gonna just warm up through the shoulder stabilizers again, so I like to find a place that when the arm and the spine is straight, I've got gentle tension on the band. Shoulders back to so the chest is open, starting off with the shoulder shrug. So elevation of the shoulder blade, depression of the shoulder blade. Just using your band for feedback, you should feel that on the elevation, the shoulder blade, the, the tension on the band increases as the shoulder blade slides up, and then just feel how the tension of the band decreases as you find that depression of the shoulder blade. Now, that free hand, just keep it at the side of your body because you're checking that you're not going into any spinal movement here, so that arm should not slide up and down your leg, it should stay nice and still here, making sure that we're not allowing that shoulder to collapse forward. Drawing the shoulder blade down and then just slacken that tension off your band a bit. I know that I need to do this. You might feel strong enough to keep that tension quite, quite tough. Shoulders stay in a good position. You're going to bend the elbow, extend the elbow. So this is work. This is work for my spinal rotators to resist any rotation or shifting through the rib cage. I'm also having to Focus on stabilising through the glutes and the hamstrings to press those hips forwards. And a lot of the time you've got to ask yourself to find that work because it's quite easy just to kneel without engaging and being active in your muscles. So once you've got the hang of that nice shoulder position, so we don't let the shoulder collapse as the elbow bends, we're going to bicep curl and then press and then bend and extend through that elbow. So all the time I'm trying to find full elbow extension on my shoulder press, but trying to make sure that the shoulder does not do that, it stays down. So it's quite nice at the top actually, because I allow the tension of that band to pull the arm bone deeply down into its socket. So adding that side bend, so lift the ribs upwards into the band and stretch and then as we get up, we're going to add the circle of the arm, bicep curl, shoulder press, side bend, reaching that bottom arm a little further if you can, lifting up, controlling that shoulder stability on the circling. So I'm focusing on using my inhalation on that side bend so that I get a little bit more opening through the top ribs. So we're going to do one more here, trying to keep the sense of the pelvis staying stable and allowing that spinal movement to happen. So again, I'm going to now take a side bend to the other side, extending my leg out and really anchoring through that bottom shoulder blade. So feel that your bicep is turning out to the side while your elbow's pointing inwards. And then bottom leg sets behind that top leg, make that strong inner thigh connection, taking the hold of the band with that opposite hand. So from here, you're gonna circle that band behind you, follow your arm with your eyes, and then circle in front of you. So all the time, I'm focusing more on what I'm not moving. So that concept of keeping that bottom shoulder blade down the back of a rib cage. I'm trying to think of the lift through that bottom waist, the ribs and the hips. I'm trying to keep that top arm nice, and straight. Adding the pike, so I'm piking those hips 
or reaching for that back ankle, circling the arm around and back. So I'm trying to keep tension on my band all the time through that circle. So there's never a time when my top arm bends or the tension goes loose. So I'm really having to challenge my hip mobility on that pike as well. Last one. Lift it up as high as you can. Finish it off with the arm circling overhead. Bend that bottom knee in. Bring that band up. And then reach it behind you to really open up for those shoulders and give yourself a stretch. And then just finish off by sitting back onto your heels. Short and sweet, but if you have a go of that, um, you'll be glad that it's that short. And it really brings strength into those obliques, the side back muscles, your hips. It's really good for the lateral sides of the body. Thanks, guys.